Have you ever watched a tutorial where some guy who doesn't know anything and he's scripting and then he says enum, right? In like enum dot something. And then you're like, what is enum, right? Why do I have to use enum? And that's basically the point of this video. Now you noticed that when I said enum and then I said dot, a bunch of these options popped up. So we have key code, user input type, easing style, material, and you can just keep going and going and going. And yeah, there's like literally like, yeah, save avatar thumbnail, customization failure. Like what is that? Enums are basically the way you can access built-in lists in Roblox. Okay. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say I make a part. It has a cast shadow, which is equal to a true or false. We have transparency, which is a number, right? So we like, you know, we have different types of values, right? Numbers, um, colors, true or falses, whatever. But then we have material and a material is a list. So we have plastic, asphalt, basalt, brick, whatever. That's basically what enum is used for. Whenever you want to access a list, you say enum and then dot and then the name of the list, enum dot material, and then you say dot, and then that will let you access the list, okay? So if I look here, yeah, we have sand, lava, ice, whatever, and then enum dot material, we have the same thing, ice, water, neon, mud, grass, sandstone, force field, clay roof tiles, enum dot material apparently has some new materials, which I've never heard of before, but that's basically the idea, right? If I wanna change the material of this part to be neon, what I do is I just say part, um, or no wait, uh, workspace, wait for child, part, uh, dot material, like so. And it actually gives me what what list I need. So it says, okay, I need an enum dot material, okay? So dot material is equal to enum dot material dot neon, okay? And so if I were to run the game, there we go. So it changes it to neon. Um, and again, do pay attention when it tells you what it needs, right? Because like this one's easy, it's called material and it's, it uses an enum dot material, but sometimes the name of the property and the name of the enum list are different. Like for example, the part has a property called shape, right? Which changes its shape, pretty obvious, right? Corner wedge, ball, cylinder, wedge, etc. right? If I wanted to change this inside of a script, you would think that I would just say, oh yeah, part dot shape is equal to enum dot shape but there is no enum.shape, okay? And so for this, that's when you type in shape, it tells you that you need an enum.parts type, okay? Like so. Enum.parts type, there we go. Block, ball, cylinder, wedge, corner wedge. That's basically all enum is, right? You, you get to access uh, pre-built lists and apply them to different properties. And the very last thing about enums is that there are two built-in functions, okay? So I can say enum, and then I can say get enums, okay? So, and if I print, if I actually print this so we can actually see what's going on, get enums, then it's gonna return a table, okay? Which is gonna have the name of every single table, every single enum table, right? Access modifier, accessory type, add shape, um, app shell, button, button style, so on and so on, right? So every single style of enum, right? The other thing you could also do is you could do the same thing with get enums, but for a specific list. So you could say enum dot um, parts type, okay? Or no, actually no, enum material, right? Get enum items. This will just return a list that has the name of every single um, enum dot material, right? So we have, yeah, plastic, smooth plastic, neon, wood, wood planks, stuff like that, okay? So that's basically the idea with enums, okay? So they're actually very simple, just built in tables and Roblox. That's basically it. So we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.